A man once named as a person of interest in young Dolph's murder has now also been killed. Family members confirmed Joshua Taylor was found shot and killed in Orange Mound yesterday afternoon, leaving that community on edge as they worry who might be next. WREG's chief investigator Jessica Gertler uncovered some new details about Taylor and his possible connection to that young Dolph case. What do you know, Jess? Well, Greg, this goes back to February 2022. Joshua Taylor was named as a person of interest in young Dolph's death. But he was never charged. Tonight, police are remaining tight lipped about this latest incident. Loved ones shared these photos of Joshua Taylor, a father of two, the latest victim of gun violence in Memphis. They were too upset to do an interview, but tell us Taylor, also known as CEO TZ, was found shot to death in Orange Mound Wednesday at Spotswood and Bunton. Those who live nearby tell us Taylor was actually shot the night before, discovered lifeless in a car hours later. MPD says the investigation is ongoing, refusing to answer any questions about the case or whether it has any link to Memphis rapper Young Dolph. In November 2021, Dolph was killed outside a South Memphis cookie store. Three months later, MPD called Taylor and another man persons of interest. Taylor was reportedly questioned but never charged. Those close to the case tell us Taylor is part of a group, the same group linked to the suspects charged in connection with Dolph's murder. It's sad. It's very sad. It's awful. Taylor's death has left the community on edge, as many fear the violence isn't over, that retaliation will only continue. Last week, Jamarcus Johnson pleaded guilty to three counts of accessory after the fact in Dolph's murder. Johnson was accused of helping the alleged shooters, one of them being his half-brother, get away. He has to tell the truth. That's, that's what this deal, this was a guilty plea, is hinged on his, uh, he has to tell the truth. Jamarcus Johnson is out on bond. He'll be sentenced in August. We've asked the DA's office if he'll get any protection, but haven't heard back. And going back to Taylor's killing that happened yesterday, loved ones tell us this loss has really hit them hard. They're just devastated, especially for his children. Now, Greg, I just checked my email and I did hear back from the DA's office. They were saying they're limited on what they can say, so their investigation isn't compromised. Mm. But of course, we're going to continue to press for answers. Yeah, and you're right. Those left behind are always the ones who suffer the most. Yeah. All right, Jess, thanks.